Good morning, girls. I thought I would show you the other side of our uh, breakfast nook area. And on this side, well, I'll start from the ceiling. I mean, up at the top. The little Pepsi sign we got in Idaho when I had my bed and breakfast, and I just love the sign. And even though we don't drink Pepsi, I like it. And then my collection of um, Old Spice cans. And this is one thing I regret. I had boxes and boxes of those that I think they came from different places. Old ones from my folks, old ones from Tom's folks. But one day I threw a whole bunch away. And I'm sort of sorry I did that, but uh, I think they're sort of neat. And then down here, the second one, where you see the French little canisters, I used to have three of them. And the third one was T, only I forget how it was spelled. But when we were moving one time, I was gathering up a whole bunch of junk. And for some reason, I put it in one of those things I walked out to the garbage can to throw the trash that I put in it and I was thinking about other things and I threw the whole thing in and it broke. I was just sick when I did it. And then down here I do have a collection of pictures and two of them I think came from my grandmother's. I think it was this one and this one and see they sort of match. I don't know if you can tell that. And, and then the others just somehow, I don't know how I got them, but the, the shelf itself Tom made and when we lived in Nampa, Idaho. So Tom made that. And then this little picture over here of a picture I painted of, of these. And that came era, my uh, class that I was teaching when I <clears throat> taught all the homeschoolers how to, about colors and whatnot. And then um, these two paintings I did when we lived in Moscow, Idaho. And we had a tea kettle and a cup that looked like that. And then that's the yellow bowl that I talk about. And I painted that one. Those are both from Moscow, Idaho. And then we have over here some orange crates that Tom made and remember I said we do a lot of improvising in the kitchen and so they're real handy and it fits in this space and that's what we have and then the, the little plaque actually came again from that store I had a long time ago and it says never eat prunes when you're hungry Tom made this. It used to have a back on it where it was originally, but it wouldn't work here, so we cut it off. And that's the one that has the little duck door down there. And Tom actually was making a box for Hickory Farms, and it had to have a little duck at, on the box. So he laid it out on these old... Um, cabinet doors and it was a black it was going to be a black duck and the cabinet doors the old cabinet doors were white and he painted them and when he got finished wow it looks so cool and even I don't know if you can tell but the little doorknob here is one of those ducks laid on it and sprayed okay that's this side of my kitchen uh, breakfast nook area. Oh, I'll show you the this. Tom made this when he was about 16 and he carved it out of an oak tree that had fallen. Or I don't know if it had fallen down in the wind or whatnot. Oh, and I see it's quite dusty. Oh, well. Uh, Anyway, he carved that. It's sort of cool, isn't it? And uh, I, the little watermelon Tom made. 
So that's about it. And so I'll just wish you a good day. And this is just still part of how I'm surviving the 80s.